For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com. Problem 2 3. If the magnitude of the resultant force is to be 9 kN directed along the positive x axis, de determine the magnitude of the force T acting on the I volt and its angle theta. Now, this time they're giving you the resultant force and they're telling you that it's directed along the x axis. So let's draw that. This is going to be R. Remember the parallelogram law, which is connected to tip of one. Oops. Let me draw that again. That's better. And this will be the A kilo Newton force. And look at this, we have a triangle. So the easiest way to do this would be the law of sines. Or you can also add the X and Y components, but you know, let's make it interesting. So you know this is the A kilo Newton force. You know the force R is directed along the X axis and is nine kilonewtons. All we need to find is this. So if this is 45 degrees and this is also 45 degrees which means we can use either the law sines or the law cosines all right the law cosines says that t is equal to square root of 8 square plus 9 square minus 2 times 8 times 9 times the cosine of 45. This will be around a total of 6.57 kilonewtons. That will be the magnitude. Now the direction we can find applying the law of sines. Super simple. We know that the sine of 90 degrees minus theta over 8 is equal to the sine of 45 degrees over 6.57. Theta will be equal to 30.6 degrees. Final answer.